The surface of the earth is made up of 30% land, with a third of that being desert. Years of drought, little rainfall, a lack of vegetation cover, and an exposed surface are all present. Deserts make up 60% of the world's land, with the Sahara Desert in Africa having the largest surface area at 9.2 million square kilometers. The Sahara Desert appears yellow as a whole on satellite maps, in stark contrast to Central Africa, which has a lot of green vegetation in the south. So, how did the Sahara Desert come to be? How deep does it go? What remains after all the sand has been removed? In the Sahara Desert, geologists have dug oil wells. The depths in the desert range from a few meters for shallow areas to hundreds of meters on average. According to drilling results, with shallow areas being only a few meters deep. Sand that was blown by the wind over time built up into tall dunes, some of which can reach heights of 180 meters. However, sand does not cover the entire Sahara Desert. The true desert takes up only one-fifth of the land area, with the rest made up of exposed rocks such as mountains, plateaus, sand-covered plains, salt marshes, and depressions. Mount Kusi, at 3,415 meters, is the highest point in the Sahara Desert. This is an extinct volcano that erupted over a million years ago. When the sand in the Sahara Desert is removed, a hard rock layer remains. The desert is located in the uppermost layer of the Earth's crust because it is not deep. You should be aware that the depth of the crust can reach tens of kilometers. This is similar to the ocean. Even if the depth is several kilometers or even more than 10,000 meters, the bottom is still the crust's surface. Below the Sahara Desert, there are the remains of prehistoric creatures as well as the remains of ancient human civilization. Although the Sahara Desert has a harsh environment, it has not always been a desert. It was actually a fertile soil that nourished many creatures and civilizations in the recent past. Geological evidence suggests that the Sahara was once warm and humid 12,500 years ago. It was a vast grassland and a life-giving oasis. The sediments in the Nile Delta contain a higher proportion of Blue Nile sediments during this time period, indicating that precipitation on the Ethiopian plateau was higher than it is now. Scientists have discovered evidence of early human activities in the Sahara Desert, as well as petroglyphs left by humans at the time in prehistoric caves. Ancient herders grazed and planted crops on Sahara grassland over 7,000 years ago. Furthermore, Satellite maps show that dry lake beds and river beds still exist beneath the Sahara Desert. These evidences suggest that the Sahara once had a humid climate. However, the Sahara grassland has become increasingly arid over time. Such climate change has resulted in the extinction of vegetation. With nothing to hold the soil together, the wind blows away all the fine sediments, eventually leaving only sand rocks, and bedrock. So, what are the causes of Sahara grassland desertification? According to research, the Sahara Desert has been alternating between savanna and desert for hundreds of thousands of years, with a 20,000-year cycle. The reason for this is because the tilt angle of the Earth's rotation axis changes on a regular basis. Although the Moon's presence can keep the Earth's axis stable, the inclination of the Earth's axis will change over time. This is the Earth's axis precession. The tilt angle of the Earth's axis is currently 23.43 degrees. The inclination of the Earth's axis was 24.14 degrees 10,000 years ago. As the tilt angle of the Earth's axis decreases, the area where the Sun can shine directly decreases, causing the position of the North African monsoon to shift and the rainfall in the Sahara to decrease. Around 5,000 years ago, the Sahara transitioned from a lush grassland to a barren desert. It will be 15,000 years before the Sahara reverts to grassland. 
Thank you for watching this video. If you find this video useful, please share it and don't forget to comment in the discussion column. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell to get info on the latest videos from us. Have a nice day.